Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a church appropriate Christmas makeup look because I know a lot of you will be going to church. I know I will be going to church on Christmas day and I thought I'd do something very easy, very quick and snappy, very wearable, nothing too cakey or glam or anything like that. It's still going to be a bit of glam because I, I, you know me, I just love glam but like nothing too crazy. So this is going to be skin focused guys so I'm going to be focusing a lot on the skin, prepping the skin, all that kind of stuff for the makeup. So I already cleansed and like exfoliated my face. You guys can do the same or you guys can you know just cleanse it. I like to exfoliate about once or twice a week to get rid of any de dead skin on my face and because like, you, like I always say my skin is healing up from the acne and everything I always just like to clear off any dead skin cells that might clog my pores and make me more you know pimple breakout prone or whatever and also just get rid of any dead skin sitting on the surface of my skin especially now being in summer when it's so hot and sweaty I don't want anything else aggravating my skin so I'm going to go in and moisturize my skin I like to do this before any foundation routine about half an hour before I'm just going to do it now to show you guys so I'm going in with my Puda Healing Hydrating Face and Body Cream this one has rose, geranium and lavender in it it smells in Incredible, absolutely incredible. And one of you guys actually said Puda means plant in one of the Indian languages. I thought that was really cool, guys. I thought that was such a cool little fun fact. So Puda just means plant healing. Now I always like to just bring it down my neck um, to moisturize it, and it also helps prime it as well so the makeup can stick to it longer because I always bring my foundation down my neck a little bit so that there's no demarcification line. So don't mind the lighting being a bit dark, it's cloudy today, yesterday was a scorcher, 41 or 42 degrees it reached in like Celsius, not Fahrenheit, and oh my gosh guys, I was working yesterday and oh my gosh, like it was so hot. I was working in the pool though, I was doing some teaching, thank goodness, but then I left guard the afternoon and oh my gosh, I got out of the pool and like, I'm already hot, like I'm wet but I'm already hot. <laughs> Next I'm going to take my Urban Decay Self Adjusting Complexion Primer um, to help soften my pores, just give a nice overall even tone to the complexion. So once I've primed my skin, and let it sit for about 90 seconds or so to help it sink in and do its thing, I'm going to go and apply my foundation, apply my foundation, gosh I slow my words sometimes. So I'm going to go in with my EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation in the shade F200 because I am super super tan at the moment from just being out in the sun because it's summer here, but I'm also going to mix it with my Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation in the shade 122 Creamy Beige. Now for this church look I do want to have like, quite a natural finish to the skin so I'm not going in with lots of product and building it up to be full coverage I'm probably just having it a light to medium coverage today just because I want like a more natural wearable look and at church I'm not one to wear like a lot of makeup I always like the natural finish where you can see your freckles you know things like that your blemishes I will probably cover up like a few breakouts and things with concealer but I won't go crazy for it just because I like to, like I said, have that more natural finish to the skin. I mean guys, like look how tan I am now, like that was just literally from yesterday being in the sun in that 40 degree day, like I could not believe it. I put sunscreen on, I wore a hat, like I had the whole rashy on, it was insanely hot. I didn't burn though, that was a good thing, I didn't burn so I was super happy. I was so proud of myself because I've been really like skin conscious lately, especially getting older, like I don't want to have damaged skin so I'm really trying to protect it. So I was so proud of myself I didn't burn. See like I said, I just want like a more natural coverage on the skin. So yeah, you can still see a few things. I'll cover up like the breakouts like I said, but just like a natural one you can see the things under your skin still. <laughs> So guys, I'm going in with two concealers today. I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige to not only conceal under my eyes, conceal the feels, but also to highlight like the center of my face. And then I'm all going to go in with my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade like Medium Beige and take that like on the blemishes and breakouts that I want to conceal up because it is similar to my skin tone, so it won't highlight those. Things that I don't want to highlight, you know, I want it to conceal. And I'm buffing out this concealer with my 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. And I'm just buffing the edges of that concealer that I um, concealed my breakouts or like blemishes with 
just the I'm just buffing out the edges of it to keep the coverage still on that breakout. Now before I powder, I just want to go in quickly with my Master Strobing Liquid from Maybelline just to apply to the high points of my cheekbones to give a bit of an extra glow to the skin. I'm not putting it everywhere this time. I might just pop it on my cheekbones and the tip of my nose. Just like I said, for a bit more of a glow to the skin. Because guys, it's the holidays, why not? <laughs> Next to set the concealer in place, I'm going in with my Fit Me Press Powder in 135. And I'm just going to take the little poof that it comes with, the little poof spongy thing. I'm just going to press it underneath my eyes and anywhere that I get oily I'm going to avoid the area where I've just placed that cream highlight down because I don't want to mattify that area. I want to keep that nice and glowy like the cheekbones nice and glowy. So I'm just going to place it anywhere that I tend to you know, crease or get oily or anything like that. So the trick to not looking like cakey is to apply powder only in the areas that you actually need it. If you're more of a dry you know, girl or guy, then you can skip, you can skip stepping, you know, powdering any part of your face. You can just powder under the eyes if you crease and move on. I might even just touch up on that concealer that I placed on my breakouts. I'm not touching the highlight area. I'm just going to place it just uh, past that, like just to avoid that area. So once I've powdered and done all that jazz, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Setting Spray, the All Nighter one. I actually got a new one, guys. I finally ran out of the other one that I had, the old packaging one. I've had that for like literally over a year and a half now. It has been so long. It's insane. So I've got the new packaging one. And I'm just going to spritz this all over my face. So I'm going to be going on and doing the brows before I start the eyes. So I'm going to take my brow pencil from LA Girl. It's in the shade Brunette. And I'm just like spooling my brows up first to get like, so I can see the actual shape of them. Like the hairs underneath, so I can follow it. And I've been digging like the brow pencil look lately, especially for like a daytime look or a more natural look like we're doing today. Because it's going to soften like the whole face up like the brows really shape the face so I do feel like they're an integral part of any of any makeup look but I'm not using a brow powder because it can um, make the brows look really dark and uh, more harsh looking that's why I like doing glamorous makeup with really dark brows because it helps them frame the face and stand out but for a look like this I'm just gonna keep it more natural so I'm really just going to sh like shape the bottom of my brow and then just feather it in. I don't think I'll do anything to the tops because I already have quite like full brows. But it really is up to you guys how you feel in your brows. I'm just going to kind of carve out my tail. My tail and my brow. And just do little feathered strokes in any of the sparse areas. And then like I said, little feathered strokes at the head. And then I just go through with the spoolie and just kind of work the product into the brows. And the brows are nearly done. Okay, so I couldn't find my clear brow gel, so I'm going to go in with my Brow This Way Brow Sculpting Gel in the shade Dark Brown. Okay, so the brows are done. Let's move on to the eyes really quick. It's a super simple look, so I'm really happy with this. It's going to be super easy to achieve. So for the eyes, I'm going to take a contour powder. This is just the one from Makeup Geek in the shade Breakup. And I'm just going to apply this through the crease really softly with my 228 crease brush, crease blending brush from Zoeva. And I'm literally just applying this in my outer corner and softly through the crease to give a bit of shape to the eye nothing too crazy this technique is really good for you guys who are traveling and you don't have a lot of room to pack lots of eyeshadow palettes and things like that this is just going to be a simple look that you can do the contour powder you can bring and you can contour your face with it as well it's super easy okay for the lid area i'm going to take shimmer shimmer from makeup geek on a it's a waiver like classic shader brush. I'm just going to slightly just pack this over the lid with this brush and then I'm going to switch brushes in a sec but for now I'm just going to lightly kind of dust it over the whole lid area from inner to outer corner where that brown is. I'm just kind of like softly creating like a cut crease on the inner 
part of the eye. Then I'm just going to switch to a Morphe MB16 brush. And I'm just going to pack that same shadow on the very center of the lid for like a halo effect. And just because the bristles are more compact, it packs more shadow onto that area rather than just, than just being like a light dusting. So it's a bit more pigmented. And then lightly taking some of that contour shade. Just going to bring that back in the outer part of the eye. But like a little bit of an inner corner pizzazz, a bit of pop, I'm going to take Ice Queen and Shimmer Shimmer. These two have been my favourite inner corner highlights lately. I'm just going to place this on the very, very inner corner. And guys, that's like basically the eyeshadow done. Like how easy is that? Of course you can do more to it. You can create a deeper outer corner. You can put a bit of um, shadow on like the lash line and smudge it out if you want. But I want to keep it super splattering, super wearable, super easy. Kind of just something for church. But next I'm going to apply some eyeshadow to the lashes. Eyeshadow. And I'm going to place mascara to my lashes. Oh. So we're going to take my Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline. So I've applied my mascara. You guys can, of course, leave it with mascara if you want. I'm just going to apply some individual lashes because I want a bit more fullness to the look. And I just, I'm a lash addict, guys. I just love lashes. So I'm going to be applying a couple of, like, individuals. Um, I'm going to be going in with my Napoleon individual lashes. And also my Revlon Beyond Natural individuals. And they're so good because you can't actually see the lash band along your eyelid because they're individual. So they look so much more natural. It just looks like you have like eyelash extensions or really long voluptuous lashes. That's why I love individuals. So to remember with the rest of the eyes, it's like super simple. Like so straightforward. I'm going to first of all put a nude coal liner in my waterline. Just by waterline to open up the eyes a bit more. It's less harsh than like a white coal liner or something like that. So do you see just makes your eyeball just look bigger so you look makes you look like you have bigger eyes, you're more awake and fresh rather than just droopy and tired. So next to kind of bring a bit more definition back to the bottom lash line, I'm going to take that same contour shade, the contour powder that we used before, on a like the waver brush. I'm just going to like tightly wiggle this product against my lash line, super tightly, just on the outer corner. And just with a clean pencil brush, I'm just going to smudge out just the lower part of that line. Just to soften it up a little bit. Oh girl, my jam just came on. Back to it. I did just jam that out a little bit, you know, the feels good. I might even just chuck some of Shimmer Shimmer on the bottom part of my inner corner lash line. Just open the eyes a bit more and chuck a bit of something, something there. And then all that's left is just to put some bottom lash mascara on to finish up the eyes. So we're going to finish off the rest of the face. So I'm just going to contour today. I won't bother with bronzer because I'm going to apply blush and highlight and things and I think... I'm sticking with the more minimal makeup look. I'm going to grab that same contour powder that I used before in my eyes. It's the Breakup Contour Powder from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to go in with my NP Set Blush Brush and just softly contour my cheeks, bring it a bit on the forehead and the chin and jawline to kind of create an all rounder effect and also just kind of help shape my face. Give a bit of structure back to this flat, two dimensional face. <laughs> If you guys want a bronze, then oh my gosh, go ahead and bronze, honey. Like, it's up to you. I'm just going to keep it contour today. I think grabbing this little tulipy shaped brush from um, Zoeva. I'm going to softly contour my nose a little bit. A little bit under the lip as well. Gets a bit more of a pouted effect to the lips. So next, I'm going to take this gorgeous, muted, like, rosy tone blush from Makeup Geek in the shade Infatuation. I'm going to apply this to the contours first and then bring whatever's left on the brush to, on the apples of my cheeks for a bit of like a rosy glow. Next I'm going to actually highlight with the Shimmer Shimmer eyeshadow that I used before on my eyelids. Just because I really think it's such a beautiful, beautiful highlight on the skin. I've been doing it lately and I've been loving it. And it's more of a champagne-y like pinky tone so it's very natural and soft and it ties in well with the eyes because I use it on the eyes. So I'm going to apply this 
just softly on the high points of my face. So I'm just like applying it right over that um that like liquid highlighter that we used before. Liquid highlighter and I'm also just creating it like connecting it to the brow so it's like a C shape. And because I get oily on the center of my forehead, I won't be applying it there. But I will apply some to like the tip of my nose and like the bridge as well. I like to do a little exclamation mark on my nose. It's like, of course, we have to add some on the cupid's bow. I just feel like it like gives so much fullness to the lip as well. And I like to do the bottom part of my lip sometimes too when I'm feeling a bit extra. Because the highlight just makes your lips look so much fuller because it brings them forward. And because I contoured under my lip as well, it just goes whoosh, with the lips. And before we move on to the lips, I'm just going to grab my little Ornata setting spray again. And I'm just going to spritz my face again to get rid of any excess powder and help lock all that makeup in place. And before I forget, I actually want to highlight my brow bone a bit. So I'm going to just take Shimmer Shimmer and Ice Queen mixed together that we use on our inner corners. I'm just going to apply this to the high point of my brow. So to make this this classic Christmassy look, I'm going to go in with a red lip. I think I might take um, Matte Chat from Zawaver first and then apply some Gorgeous Cosmetics um, Pout Lip Gloss over top. So this is the finished look for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's makeup tutorial. I had so much fun filming this for you guys. I feel like if you guys wanted to, you know, do a Christmassy look that's not too crazy or in your face you could do something like this or you could do a different eye if you want like I feel like anything any eye makeup look you could do if you put it with a red lip it would be Christmassy like just the classic red lip is just such the Christmas icony kind of makeup look so I hope you guys enjoyed today's look if you do have any suggestions or request requests that you would like me to film then please leave it down below in the description bar. Make sure if you are new to this channel that you subscribe down below and click that little notifications button, that little bell button next to it, so that you guys can keep notified with my newest tutorials and things like that. And if you did like this video at all, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me, girl fan. Thanks, honey. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. If I don't see you otherwise, have an amazing Christmas. Enjoy spending time with your family, your friends, your loved ones, whoever it may be. Have an amazing time, and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye, guys.